This is our private label brand at HSN, Kitchen HQ and Oh boy, are these amazing. First of all, there's two sizes. We have them only now in the 10 and the 12 inch. We've lost the eight inch. But this pricing on what is a cast iron and a non-stick combined is gonna be your all-time favorite thing. Read some reviews. Massive customer pick. By the way, we have them in so many pretty colors. They're right here below. We've got them in your classic black. There's red, there's teal, there's this. How fun to have a pink cast iron non-stick skillet. And then we've got it in the blue as well as the teal. This is your 12 inch. We also have it in a 10 inch. Note, by the way, double pour spouts on both of these. And this is true. I mean, cast iron the way we love them uh, from when our grandmothers used to cook up a storm for us. But those were definitely heavy and none of those were non-stick. So you had to treat them and you had to season them and you had to care for them specially. That's a non-stick surface, yet it's the benefit of cast iron. So it heats up faster. It stays hot longer. And boy, what a deal this is on both sizes. If you can swing them both, you'll be happy to have them. Uh, 82742 is the item number. John Florell is joining us from his kitchen to yours. Hello, John. I love this smart deal. Hey, Kelly. Good morning. Or good afternoon now. Yep. I, I started breakfast. We've got lunch going. We've got Perfect. dinner going. Cast iron cookware really is like true lifetime cookware. Uh, if you, you might remember hearing stories or seeing TV shows about, you know, the old chuck wagons that traveled from all the way out west and they had those cast iron pans banging on the back of the wagon. <laughs> this, you can literally cook with these over an open fire on your barbecue, in your oven, or on any cooktop that you have in your kitchen gas electric it doesn't matter what type of cooktop but the best part about these is they're truly uh, they're they're non-stick we have a great non-stick finish on the inside which you've i've never seen in any other cast iron cookware and especially at this price i mean look how these eggs just slide around this 10 inch pan the pour spouts on either side work great for uh, for your soups and sauces i'm just going to put these eggs out here on the plate for our breakfast, but the best part about this, Callie, there's no cleanup. Mm -mm. All you do is wipe it out with a cloth. And just to show you this, because of that cast iron or that non-stick, that Woodford non-stick on the inside, take a look at this. You, you can do things in cast iron that you that now that you've never been able to do before. We'll put some hash browns in here to go with our breakfast. And here's something that's kind of fun. You can have fun with this. Add some jalapenos, some diced jalapenos. Maybe you want to spice it up a little bit. Add your own ingredients, some onions and bell peppers. I'm going to throw some cheese over the top of this, and we'll let this melt down. And I'll tell you what, cheesy hash browns in a casserole like this in cast iron, it doesn't get any better. But, you know, when everybody thinks about cast iron, you always think, that, well, to me anyway, my grandfather, the first time I was introduced to, to cast iron, was my grandfather took me on a fishing trip up the Lake of the Woods in Minnesota. <gasps> okay, when there. I was a little kid. Yeah. And we had a shore lunch. He had the cast iron skillet in the fishing boat. <laughs> we caught our fish, took it to the shore, started a fire, fried up our fish right on the shore. Best tasting mm. uh, walleye I've ever had oh. in my life. I still remember it to, to this day. I, I... But you know what you're going to love it for? Steaks. It's the flavor that you get using cast iron. When I flip over this steak, Ooh, look at there this. We go. From end to end, that perfect charred steak. Let me get this one too. We'll flip it over and you can see from edge to edge, perfect heating, no matter whether it's on gas, electric, a, a glass top stove, maybe it's a, a, a you know, even induction. Yeah, but look at this, end to end, perfect cooking. And here, the best part is you don't have to worry about seasoning these. They will never rust. I, that's one thing everybody, you know, everybody worries about cast iron. Because of course they do they think, and, and uh, should. Iron, it's because, I mean, no matter how much or little you spend on a cast iron, even if it's a piece that's been passed down from your grandparents, I mean, when it rusted, right. that's a whole different problem on your hands. These are exactly. actually dishwasher safe. So yes. keep in mind, I mean, this is, this is non-stick cast iron like 
never seen before. This is modern day convenience. Get your colors while you can. We do have, again, two sizes, the 12 inch or the 10 inch in red, pink, black, teal, or blue. The fact that this is working on all of these different stove top types, we're talking about electric radiant ring, electric ceramic glass top, electric solid plate, halogen, induction, gas burner, and you said it best on an open fire or on a barbecue grill. I mean, you, you cannot destroy these things, I think. And they're not super heavy. They're not light, but they are not the heavy cast iron of the past that you used to have to have two hands. If you need two hands, I'll look at the helper handle. Maybe you're gonna wanna hang it in the kitchen to display it because they're so pretty. There's a way to hang it on the handle as well as right here on the helper handle. But in either case, look at how pretty this is from front to back. This is an amazing price on these two. These have been incredibly popular and just so you know, a smart deal. This is something that is a very temporary price. So normally, I mean, something like this, you could spend easily over $50 to get either size, but it's a matter of which one do you want, which colors do you want, because you can do it all here. And there's something about it, John, in cast iron, things just taste better. I know steaks turn out better. I love that sear that you got on those steaks. Yeah, that, that when you put it down and you hear that yeah. sizzle, yeah. you see the sizzle. In fact, Kelly, I've got the 10-inch the pan right here, the 10-inch skillet. Uh, this is already hot. Just to show you, here's something that you would never do in any other cast iron skillet if it wasn't uh, a Kitchen HQ. This is skin-on salmon. I'm going to lay it down on a searing hot pan. I threw a little dill on there for flavor, but look at, you can literally see it shrink up. You can see how that nonstick really works well. And you don't have to worry about hurting these pans, Kelly. These are very, very well built. They're solid cast iron. Here's something you would never do in grandmother's cast iron skillet. Here's lemon. I'm gonna squeeze right over the salmon. That would ruin the, the I mean, you would have to re-season it after you have cleaned out all the rust, forget about it. You'll never have to worry about it in our cast iron skillets because of that nonstick finish. And the large one, the 12 inch, I've got four burgers going here. I could probably fit six in here. Perfect for lunch on the barbecue. They're absolutely fantastic. In fact, I use mine for baking on the barbecue. We do mac and cheese in here. And speaking of cheese, now that I flip these, here, let's mm, try and really yummy. make a sticky mess. I'm you gonna throw some hungry. cheese over the top of my burgers. So we're gonna try, we're gonna try and make this messy for you, okay? <laughs> I'll come back to that, but look at this. Our hash browns, look at that cheesy goodness. It's all melting down through our hash browns here with those jalapenos. But here, I gotta show you this. I keep mentioning, I've got one of those pellet grills in the backyard. And earlier today, I took, I, I went out and did a cornbread. I did a, a, a smoked cornbread on my, cat, on my grill Ooh. outside. And I'm going to show you this. I tell you, if you've never tried smoked cornbread, that smoky goodness, it's unbelievable. But I got, I'm going to flip this out of here just so you guys can see. Oh. It is literally, and that's done on the grill, nonstick. I mean, the cleanup, you don't even have to clean it up. Here, I'll throw that back in here because you can do all kinds of fun things. Earlier in the oven, we did a whole mess with our 12-inch, and I love this color uh, for, for You can do monkey bread in here. You can do your cinnamon rolls for breakfast. If you have guests coming over, treat them to... What I love about this, too, is once you take this out, cast iron... Now, this one's already cool, but cast iron holds its heat for a very long time. So you don't have to worry about your dishes cooling off on the dinner table uh, and, and, and uh, you know, it getting cold. That's what I'm gonna I love. move back up here to these steaks. Which, the truth We're gonna is... pull this off of here because look at this. I mean, the cleanup again, here's the best part about this. Perfect, perfect <laughs> charred steak in your cast iron skillet on the stove top. But the best part, Callie, when I dump out these veggies, you gotta see the cleanup because the cleanup, look at this. It, it just, just everything just slides right out of that pan. No grease or oil. Now, you can see there's, I don't know if you can see through the camera angle here. There is a bunch of, like, it looks burnt, okay? But look at this. A damp cloth is all it takes. Non-stick 
I mean, you can throw this in a dishwasher. You know, I was just thinking, John, back in the day when my grandmother used to like, you know, lived on a farm, she would cook for all the farmers and all the helpers or family would come. She did, she had a little kitchen. She cooked on stove or on, on the, you know, open flames. The reason she loved cast iron is because it kept meals hot longer. And you know, there's a lot to love about that. And you'll still enjoy that benefit. But this is modern day cast iron. It's the best of both worlds. The thing we don't like about our old cast iron is that it sticks, things stick, unless you season it properly. And there's always questions about what you're doing right or what you're doing wrong. This is beautiful and it is non-stick and it is cast iron and they are big customer picks. If you wanna read reviews, this price will go up. I don't know if it's today or tomorrow, but I know right now, I've never seen such good prices on this kind of product. It's heavy duty cast iron and it's the non-stick experience. If you want the classic, I mean, this is your classic, all black. That is what my grandma used to have and I think she passed it down and I have it now. So I love it, but you know what? It's a little bit more difficult because hers isn't uh, the non-stick like these are. Uh, the colors are so fun. If you love your pinks, look at how fun. Have you ever seen a cast iron uh, skillet in pink? But we also have red. We have it for you in the black as I showed you. There's your teal and we have it in the blue. This is your 12 inch. We do have the 10 inch. We have sold out of the eight inch and these will probably all be selling out as we move through today. Uh, the item is 82742. I know, John, everything you've made looks so delicious. I am starving. I just want to dig into one of the burgers or a if steak you, or anything. If you think it looks good, you <laughs> should smell it. I wish this was smell -o vision I know, me too. Instead of television, because it's amazing. And the flavors that you get from this. Now, remember that cast, that, that, uh, that casserole that I did? Hash brown casserole with, with jalapeno and cheddar cheese, grated cheddar cheese.